Yo, what's going on, guys? Gonna be showing you how broken Master Yi is here in preseason 13. I think he's one of the best junglers in the game because he can take full advantage of self healing. Self healing is still way out of control because Grievous Wounds isn't good enough. And Master Yi's clear is even faster because of your little helper friend. He gives you AoE on all of your auto attacks. Every second, he'll do AoE true damage against monsters. I think the green one is best for self healing because he gives you a bunch of tenacity and a shield. I've seen it work wonders on many self-healing junglers like Warwick and Rengar to where there's not a whole lot of counterplay because having that extra tenacity makes it to where you don't have to go Merc Treads or if you still want to go Merc Treads, you can. Against their team, they only really have Hecarim Fear, Silas Stun, and Ash R to where we could definitely get away with Plated if Hecarim's fed or if the Zaya Ash are fed, so we'll see. Level 1, we'll start with Q. For our runes, we took Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Free Boots, Cosmic, Attack Speed, 80, and Armor. Go ahead, all attack into Q. Cool thing about Master Yi is he's actually ridiculously tanky because of his meditate. If you use it properly, they can cancel it with most hard CCs. Snares and slows obviously don't cancel it, but uh, anything else does. So keep that in mind. Gives you 90% damage reduction for the first half a second. And then once your channel's done, it gives you 90% damage reduction, which is insane. Like <laughs> 90% makes no sense. So if you're about to get hit by a big load, pop the W, take only 10% of the damage you would normally take. I don't know why they decided to buff Mastery's Meditate a couple of patches back, but they did. And in Season 12, they also let you choose which side you're going to come out of your Q on them, which makes it really hard for skill-based champions to outplay you when you're coming out of your Q because Mastery's initial auto attack, his first one coming out of Q is pretty much instant. To where if they don't time their skill shot perfectly and guess perfectly, they're pretty much going to die. And we're full health. Master E clears extremely healthy. We'll go ahead and pop our E. Your Q and your Meditate pause your E's duration, so you don't have to worry about that. I mean, your Q and your W pause your E duration, so you don't ha really have to worry about wasting it. Sometimes the monsters bug and they just stand still and attack nothing. I don't really understand that. It is what it is. I'll attack Q reset. And this is the bug. It's not actually hitting us right now. Same thing happened. I was playing a different jungler and the same thing was happening. Regardless, even if it was focusing us, it wouldn't make a difference. Mastery clears full HP even without Meditate. The little guy helps out quite a bit with Yi. I've noticed that the healing isn't quite as good. So your Smite doesn't heal you anymore on any jungler. And on top of that, Gromp doesn't heal you the lower on HP you are. The only healing you get is once you kill a camp altogether. Then you'll get a bit of healing all right level four we'll go ahead and get our meditate we finished around 325 so before scuttle spawns in scuttle spawns in at 330 now we can't play for this though their top laner took full prio so we just need to give this up we'll get killed by their top lane roam and the hecarim roam so it turns out hecarim was bot side we're gonna go for bork rush bork is extremely overtuned in the new season because of how they changed the monster camps they changed them to be much tankier, especially after the first clear, and Bork has percent base damage, which affects champions, minions, and monsters, so Bork helps rip through the camps consistently quick, regardless of which clear it is. Turns out Hecarim went bot side instead. Kind of sucks that we missed out. It is what it is, though. He went for the blue smite, which gives movement speed when you enter a bush. It's like having that Nidalee passive. Usually want to take Ignite on Mastery if you're up against heavy self-healing comp, like the Silas and the Hecarim. I'm not seeing an easy gank bot side, so all we're going to do is stick to the full clear. You don't have to get too creative on Mastery. Stick to the basics. Full clear and gank, full clear and gank. If we try to gank here, it's already warded. So if Nautilus doesn't land a sick hook or if the enemies aren't playing up, it's going to be a complete waste of time. Hecarim can invade my opposite side jungle and we'll miss out on a lot. Kind of want to try Mundo Jungle. Mundo Jungle is pretty interesting with the self-healing. Mundo is slept on. A lot of people aren't giving him respect. We're ripping through our camp so fast, they're not spawning in in time compared to how fast we took them on the first clear. We have a bunch of attack speed, so we're ripping through even faster. Pop it with the Q. The lower on health you are, the more your Meditate heals you, so don't use it too early. The healthier you are, the less value you'll generally get from it. We could go over the wall if we have vision, but we don't. Nasus waited for his level 6 power spike. Killed the guy. He started coal. People who start coal are very greedy. We're waiting for this to come up because of our red buff anyway, so might as well pop meditate. 
There it is. This happens a lot on Master Yi since he doesn't have the best gank tools, no hard CC and no fast gap close. What ends up happening a lot of the time is there's no clear, easy gank option to where you just end up full clearing twice in a row before you really get to gank. Now we'll gank top. We'll go ahead and pop my potion. We don't need it anymore. Nasus hits him with the wither. I'm going to ignite him nice and early. Auto attack into Q reset, pop in behind him, and down he goes. Ignited him nice and early because I'm not sure how much self healing that champion has. Plus, we haven't used our ignite yet, anyways, and I didn't want Nasus to die. I I'm going to stay for a play. I'm being greedy. I don't think he has TP, and their jungler can't kill me very easily. He's level 6. Huh, he actually could kill me easily. He hit a really early level 6. He hit a pre 6 minute 30 level 6 as a jungle with two ganks. He must have soaked a lot of minions. We got to get out of here. We're in imminent danger. Look for recurve bow into... I'd say... I guess we'll go vamp. We want to try to stay full HP. Generally, I would say you wouldn't want vampiric early, but we're only missing out on 10 AD for... 7% life still, so These camps, you don't get healed as much because your smite doesn't heal you. You only get a tiny heal every time you finish a camp. It's around 50 health, so Every minute after the first minute of the game you get a little Extra treat to feed your monster after you clear a jungle monster camp They do that to help you finish your jungle item sooner You have to take 40 camps before your jungle item is officially finished and that's when you'll get its additional effects because right now it doesn't matter which jungle item you go, red, blue, or green. They're doing the exact same thing until you've had 40 treats. We're not getting the extra tenacity yet. Botlane just died. I'm not going to gank that. It's not a gank if there's as many of them as there is of us. So we need to take... We need to do 22 more treats. You get one treat for each large or epic monster. Plus one extra per minute of the game. 22 more treats until we get that 20% tenacity and shield. I think they need to nerf this green one. The shield's too big and the tenacity is too useful comparatively to the other ones. I'm going to meditate up. I don't really know where this guy's top lane is, which is making me nervous. Sure enough, he's here. I'm going to run away. Hecarim already blew his R. Go ahead and meditate it back up. We definitely could have soloed Hecarim there. It's just the fact that his top laner rotated made it not worth it all. Ah, meditate. We're chilling. Good luck. After they blow their CC, pop the meditate. There's no way they can kill you. <laughs> it's a really low cooldown, too. I don't know why it's only 8 seconds. That seems uh, kind of crazy. I don't remember it ever only being 8 seconds. That seems way, way too low. The little monster doesn't your little monster friend doesn't help you with clearing the small crux very much and the meditate starts from when you first start so after you meditate it's really only a five second cooldown because it'll last for four seconds so it's only a four second cooldown after the meditate finishes assuming you get off a full channel clista rage quits i think it's still winnable because we have nasus master Yi. i can afford a full board we'll go ahead and look for the reset because nasus is shoving i think i can get a double bot side here Yeah, that's unfortunate. Bot lane lost super, super hard and uh, gave up. It's un really unfortunate. We have such good scaling on our team. It is what it is, though. Not sure where they're at. I do have my R, though, so I'm not really scared of them. The Bork lets you solo any jungler. Or any champion super easily. Master use double strike. I'm going to hold on to Q because I don't know where they are. If your Q's on cooldown and, and a fight breaks out, you don't have an easy way to dodge skill shots or to close distance if you need to close it quickly. Mundo's getting soloed right there. I'm on fast boots, so we're even faster than we normally would be. Hecarim's top side. Let's see if his uh, red buffs up. Hey, Ash. Hit her with our smite to slow her down. Auto attack in the queue. 
I tried to tether it to her flash. It was very clear she was getting uncomfortable. She wasn't playing on lock screen there, so she wasn't even realizing she was being attacked initially. You can dodge dragon autos with your Q and also mitigate damage with your W on them. Once you have life still, you don't really need to waste W against dragon, though it's better to save it against champions. Get another point in our E. Drag is still a win con for us, even though we're playing down a person. Auto attack in the Q. Down he goes. I was tanking originally, but then I swapped Tura aggro with my Q, so multiple of us could tank. Pop him with the Q. Oh! We didn't have time to W there. He also smacked us with R. He gets the... Sh Wait, did we lose shutdown there? I don't think we had shutdown gold on us because their team has more kills. But, wow. I think the Hecarim should have been CC'd there from the Nautilus hook into auto. I think he barely pinched off R before the Nautilus auto could land. So there was a slight window there. Kind of interesting. Took a decent amount of magic damage. I'm thinking, mm, thinking we go shield bow, honestly. I think shield bow is going to be the way to go. More tankiness, more self heal. Their team isn't crazy damage either. Like the Ash support, the uh, Hecarim, their top. The more self heal we have, we don't really need Kraken, I don't think. They're just grouping up mid now. Nautilus misses his hook. Oof. Puts it right into the minion. Ash hits me with the R. That's no fun. She can't slow me at least while I'm on R. And she doesn't have flash either, so she's just dead. Now Hecarim's just dead. Goodbye, Hecarim. I don't know where Silas is. We'll pull back and farm for a second. Seems like all of his jungle camp spot side are down anyways. Mundo has great scaling. Nasus has scaling. I have scaling. We have the scaling. It's just a matter of the execution. If Ash keeps hitting me with R's, it's going to make this game very challenging. In a perfect world on Master Yi, you never have to use your Q and you always get to hold on to it to dodge a life ending hard CC. Or a super dangerous ability. Like a hook. Hooks, luck snares, that type of stuff. In a perfect world, you're already on top of the enemies or you run up to them with R on and you get to hold it until they throw out that attack. So your Q dodges auto attacks, turrets, abilities. It dodges really everything. Uh, that's no fun. I should have just queued. The only thing that was keeping us alive was the 90% damage reduct for the half a second. I needed to come out and just do some damage before I died there. These Ashars are destroying us so hard. Mundo gets it. I mean, it's kind of worth, but uh, not really ideal, I'd say. It's definitely a shield bow type of game, though. Mundo's so tanky. Holy crap. He's actually breaking the game. <laughs> Mundo with heart still. I'm gonna have to play some of that. I don't think Mundo mids the move, but I think Mundo jungle and top could make some sense. You know what? Maybe Mundo mid with D shield second win. We get the Q attached. I thought he was gonna R the Nautilus or something, but he just didn't. We get the shutdown. Down he goes. I'll keep playing for dragons. I mean, we're playing a man down. We gotta play for something meaningful. Playing for kills doesn't do anything. They laid Herald mid. I'll ping him on my way. I'll grab red buff real quick. Nice. Nasus is destroying her. Ash can keep him perma slowed though. He doesn't have uh, Swifties. If she kites him, if his Wither's on cooldown, there's nothing he can do. We need Dragon badly. We can't afford to give. I can't afford Shield Bow. There's no reason for me to back here. Looks like Nasus is going to sit on the split. 
Ignites up, so is our smite. Once you can smite opponents after 20 camps, it's just a true damage engine is slow. I can't keep up with Dr. Mundo there. He gets the kill regardless. We get the Q attach and he dies from our ignite. Not bad. Auto attack into the Q. We saved our Q until where I thought he was gonna R us because we were getting low on health and so was he. When you can feel the pressure mounting on them and you put yourself in their mind about what they'll do, that's generally when you're gonna Q. I should be able to solo this guy. Definitely queued him earlier than I needed to. He pops beneath R. It's not going to turn out for him, though. He gets a bunch of extra stats after he R's you. We could have popped into Meditate, get the 90% damage reduct for half a second, and then another half a second if we cancel it, or once it ends. Plus the full duration, 40, what is it, like 45% damage reduction? So you heal while channeling. I actually damage reduction. Decrease, yeah, to 45%. So we'd still have 45% damage reduction even if we held it while our teammates kill him. Yup, now it's time for Rage Blade. So instead of having to go for Titanic or maybe Sunfire Aegis, one or two tank items to stay alive, the self-healing are our tank items. It's doing a crazy amount of damage, loads of healing. Plus the Shield Bow Shield is a legit tanky option, so... We're rather tanky, and now we can go into Rage Blade. If you rush Rage Blade first or second item, you're not tanky. If you go at second item, you kind of have to rush down Shield Bow first or have an Enchanter on your team like a Janna or Lulu. Now we have our extra Shield and Tenacity. Our little friend is leveled up, giving us the actual benefits. My R is on cooldown, so... The biggest downside to this build is we don't really have any ability haste. We have zero ability haste. That's the only downside. But ultimately, this is the highest damage and functionally tankiest build in the game that you can run on Yeet. I shouldn't have used my R there. I could have gotten his thing without using it. I got a base. I got to get out of here, dude. We're not going to get base speed up either. Mundo's going in. He's going to int away his shutdown gold. Not worth it all. Plus, they're getting a turret off to the side. Rage knife. Don't mind if I do. Go ahead and get a blue ward as well. It's not the end of the world if he gets this turret, but I'd rather him not, as you can imagine. We should be faster. Yeah, we're 434. We're a lot faster than this guy. I want to fight him while my true damage is up. It's the only reason why I use my Q. It's actually insane how much damage he does with two full tank items. He was almost winning that. Now, granted, we weren't on R, but still, that's kind of nuts. Look at that healing. We don't even need base. Self-healing's broken. They need to unnerf heal cut. Heal cut only goes up to like 40%, and that's situationally. For example, let's take a look at Morello. It's, uh, yeah, 25% heal cut. But if they're below half health, and it's... <gasps> 40% that's not good enough. It used to be 60% heal cut, dude They kept nerfing it and now the self healers are disgusting. It is the dawn of Master Yi, the dawn of any 80 <laughs> Jungler that can stack life still effectively. It's their time to shine They're, they're actually gonna lose 5v4 because who do they have on their team to self-heal? Nobody. They don't have a Bork Shield Bow style champion or a Gore Drink Bork style champ. I'm going to slice through them like butter. Someone just saw me. Yeah, it's Ash. They're all stacking up hoping we dive them, which honestly we can. As long as I get an R reset, get a killer assist that extends your R by another seven seconds so if we can get that we can wipe their whole team as long as Mundo's tanking Hecarim's two full item wow I don't want to pop my true damage for this well now I have to because they're forcing something over there I've got to get over there before my team dies they're losing a lot of health 
They're actually trying to dive? That's a terrible idea. Oh, I gotta go in. Oh, we gotta go in, baby. Queuing behind him. Oh, we get feared, though. That's not good. <laughs> My key was on cooldown too. We need Rage Blade. If we had Rage Blade there, they all die. Plus, that was a legit 3v5, and we we're still able to get two kills. I'm kind of happy with that. Now that we have Rage Blade, they won't win that fight at all. Our key was almost back up. We needed to pop the plant over the blue buff wall and we definitely would have lived. We accidentally took Hecarim with me to where I all I could do was turn and fight. They would have been able to run me down with Hecarim's blue smite. He would have touched bush, got 35% bonus movement speed and ran us down. We're taking a decent amount of magic damage where I think Wit's End is a solid option here. Getting more on hit. Sunfire isn't bad either. But uh, I think it's more of a Wit's End type of game since we have Rage Blade. I'm on my way for that. Nasus gets the shutdown. He also is very, very fat. It looks like he went for a Bork as well. Bork needs a nerf. It's too good. Slows them, speeds you up. Max health damage, AD, life still, attack speed. Does a billion different things. What is happening? Dude's flopping around like a pancake. We could also pick up some tank items to round off the build, like Frozen Heart. Or gargoyle or something. I would like some amount of ability haste. Even though kills and assists basically refund your cooldowns. Because of your R. Once you have a level in your R, 70% reduces the cooldowns. It's still nice to have a little bit of something something. Gotta get over there. Wow, Nasus is legit 1v2. Yeah, you're dead. Even if she R's. Oh, no. I can't move, dude. The Ash R. Two seconds of hard CC. I think we just need QSS at this point. One Ash R completely cripples us. We took... It's not even saying how much damage we took from turret, which is awesome. But we took uh, a lot of damage there. Our shield bow's already blocked 1300. Nasus is at 666 stacks. Very aesthetic there. It's super challenging for him to run down in Ash, though. Her W volley way outranges his wither. So she can continuously hit him with Ws. And there she pops him with R. Seriously, once we have QSS, though, this game's over. That's all we need. Bork's done 5,000 damage. What the hell? It doesn't say what his divine, what his Spear of Shoujin has done. It kind of looks like Divine Sunder. Same color scheme, just different format. Starting to under farm a little bit because we're dying. These guys really want to die for this. They can't kill me without Ashar. It's not possible. We have the jungle item shield and the tenacity from it as well. Since the jungler gets that additional effect without taking up an item slot, the jungle is, jungler is actually the strongest person in the whole game at this point because you're getting that additional effect that no one else can access. Yeah, wait, what is that? What did I just read? Take 30% reduced damage from epic monsters while two are... Yeah, that's that's how they all work, though. You can tank epic monsters like crazy if you have two or more teammates with you. They do 30% reduced damage, which is ridiculous. We could go for a Ravenous Hydra for more healing and some AoE. I think Ravenous Hydra gives a bunch of ability haste as well, and it also stacks, which is kind of sick. My team's starting a split, which I don't think is a great move. I think me, Mundo, and Nautilus should group. We're all really strong. We could solo anyone on their team, but we're not strong enough to 1v5. They have too much CC for that. Plus Zaya, Gale Force plus her R. It's not easy to stay on top of someone who does that. Don't mind if I do. 
Bloodthirster and Ravnus wouldn't be bad. I have to go for a QSS though. The Ash R is doing too much for them. Way too much. We'll go ahead and smite him, slow him down, pop him with E. And I don't really want to R for it. I could get hit by an Ash R while we dive him. Like that. If that would have hit me while we were diving, like we lose the game. Yep. I need QSS. We can't dive underneath turret 2v5. It's not going to work. No matter how tanky Mundo is, it's just not going to happen. Now that we have QSS, we could consider getting Frozen Heart or something. Some kind of armor. Sunfire wouldn't be horrible. It just doesn't do enough of what we need is the thing. Death Stance wouldn't be bad. I kind of want a Ravenous. Yeah, perhaps Death Stance. We could finish this item out first. Get some HP. It also gives you extra tenacity and slow resistance for three seconds after you use it, which is kind of in intense. So we'll just go for that. We'll play for Drag Soul, win the game 5v4. Makes sense. Hecarim has an insane amount of damage. He's tanky. He's got some CC. I got QSS now to play against that a little bit. Would be a lot easier with Callista. Even if she didn't auto attack, all she has to do is R the Nautilus and he gives us a huge AoE knockup to work with. Something that's kind of annoying. When you have an AFK, I don't think you should have shot down gold on your team. Like they're going to get rewarded for getting kills here. Oh, he just timed out Master ER. That's not good for us. We pop her with our Q. He'll back up. Yeah, Cassante timed out my R really hard. He took Nautilus into Nowhereville. Down he goes. I queued to get there sooner. He had no way to escape at that point anyways. They hard lost that fight. The Nasus and Mundo are giga tanky. I don't have smite for this. Hey friends, I heard you guys wanted to fight. Yep, I think they wanted to fight. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Imagine fighting Master Yi. That's a bad idea. One does not simply fight Master Yi. I'm afraid it doesn't work that way. Especially when we have a free 20% tenacity and a free tank shield. Only downside, we have no ability haste. <laughs> Blue Smite or walk into her. Pop back into meditate for some healing. And look at that. We're above half health. I have some lethal temple already built up here. He's dead. Yep, he's a goner. He gave me R resets as well. Or I should say R extensions, which is better than resets. I still have my QSS. She's going to try to hit me with her R. We swapped her Agarth Q, and they lose the game. Nasus can take 15 turret shots and still be healthy. Master Yi's broken, man. Self-healing's broken. They need to buff... Um, uh, heal cut. I'm telling you right now, self healing is super out of control. Let's take a look at damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the second most damage dealt in the game. Pretty happy with that as a jungler. Looking, oh wait, let's look at Callista's damage real quick. <laughs> 700, let's go. That's not even two HP bars in the early game. All right, for damage taken, we took average amount for self mitigated. A pretty high amount, actually. More than Nautilus. Pretty solid. Just full life still with the shield bow shield and our meditate. But runes, super high value. Master Yi Season 13 is nutty. Definite must pick. Him and Work are a lot of fun. I'd say Master Yi is probably a little bit better than champions like Warwick, only because he has resets. If Warwick had resets on his R and his abilities, Warwick would be even better since Warwick has hard CC. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.